Yeah. He who has seen you has seen God. Yeah, who have seen me have seen God. Can, can you say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who have seen me have seen God? Who have seen me have seen God? Yeah, who have seen me have seen God? Okay, so he, he's the first Muslim that I know that who has seen him has seen God. What up, YouTube? It's G O D S O N L A N C E, and I'm back with another video, man. Today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Muslim says he who has seen me has seen God. Basically, that Muslim in itself is claiming to be God. So right now, if you're watching this video, you probably a Muslim, or you could be a Christian, or you could just not believe in God. Whoever you are, you can learn something in this video. So I highly suggest that you watch it all the way to the end. Hey, but I ain't gonna hold you too much longer, man. Let's get it. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Have you have, have you accepted Jesus Christ as the Son of the Living God? Go and say I don't. Exactly. I don't. What I'm now saying, the whole mankind, we came from one man. As Allah says in the glorious Quran, Quran chapter 49 verse 13. Quran chapter 49 verse 13. God said, I have created you all from one man, Adam and his wife. I only divided you into nation and tribe for you just to know one another. But the most honorable person in the sight of God among you are those who have piety, those who have the fear of God. Listen, Christian, listen to this. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 to 19, Jesus said, Do not think I Jesus came to destroy the law or the prophet. Do not think I Jesus came to destroy the law or the prophet. I did not come to destroy the law, but to make sure the law comes through. Very, very, I say unto you, till the heaven and the heart pass, one jot or one title, will not fail from the commandments of God until every commandment be obeyed. Right there, I feel like David Lynn was just checking the scriptures because that goes to show right there in itself. We don't know everything. That's just my opinion, though. I don't know for sure if he was doing that. But if he was, that's a great thing to do. Hey, whoever among you that break the list of this commandment, okay. whoever among you that break the list of this commandment and teach men to do so, will be called the list in the kingdom of heaven. So, so, so whoever so, does, whoever does okay. this commandment and teach men to do so, we call it great. In the okay, so, so I have a question for you. Then why do you disobey the commandment by not believing Jesus is the Son of God? Why do you reject the commandment to be born again and you're not? Why do you reject the teaching of Jesus Christ that said that I am the way, the truth, and the life? No no man comes to the Father but by me. None of his words will pass. So why do you reject it? John 49. He now says, I am in the Father, Father in me. No, no, you, you missed the verse. I've been with you. you the I'm coming, I'm coming. He wants to to them. When you have seen you, see the Father. Is that what he who has seen me has seen the Father. They gotta be quiet in the background. I can hear him. It's kind of hard because of the way that he's speaking. But so far, when David Lynn was speaking to him, asking him why does he deny the faith, basically not believing that Jesus is the Son of God, and the way that he was looking at David, and I know that y'all seen it, his face looked like he was saying, whatever you saying to me, I'm not listening to this. That's the face that he looked like he had. But hopefully, they get quiet a little bit. Of John chapter 14, verse 9. When you have seen me, you have seen the Father. What was the Father? You will see. He was see. He said, as the Father sent me, so I speak. So, then when so, you go to when you go to John 14, 28, for you to know that they were not the same. John 14, 28, Jesus now says to them, I am going away. I will come back to you. He said, I'm going away because I'm going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. So let, let me, Father okay. is greater. Okay. He said, go on, go on. Okay, 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 okay. Let me respond to you. That's fine. So, every, let me respond. No, because you're, you're saying a lot and I need to, I need to, I need to jump in here. So, no, nobody's disputing. Nobody. Sir, sir, sir. Sir, are you listening or no? I'm listening, I'm listening. No, no, nobody's, nobody's, hold on, hold on everybody. Nobody's disputing the difference between Jesus and the Father. But what you said points to the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. He Amen. said, he who has seen me has, has seen, seen the God. Father. Was Muhammad able to say that? He who has seen me has seen Allah. In Quran chapter 4, Surah in Nisaf verse 80, whoever believes in Muhammad has indeed believed in God. No, but have, no has seen God, anyone, not believed in God. 
Did yeah. Muhammad say anywhere, he who has seen me has seen Allah? Can you hear what I said to you? Jesus was always speaking in parable. This is why he quoted Matthew chapter 13, verse 13. Okay, this question, is, another question. What I'm saying. Uh, well, what's any Muslims watching this right now or anybody that's watching this right now, we are not disrespecting your religion. We're not trying to harm you in any type of way, shape, or form. What we are trying to do is simply reveal to you what the Lord above has revealed to us that he is the way the truth and the life and that no man is coming to the father but by the name of jesus but that right there in itself sometimes can come off harmful or disrespectful because y'all look at it as a religion like i was in jail with somebody and he was a muslim and i was in jail for something that i did over two years ago but i asked him if you was to turn away from your religion would your family cut you off he said man these people would act like i'm dead basically because it's got to that point where religion is so divided that people are dying about it. And that is not the will of God. That's the will of the devil. The Holy Spirit is real. Once the Holy Spirit hits your body, when you continually seek the true God and you continue to speak to God from your heart, not saying the same repetitive prayers over and over again, not reading prayers from books and stuff like that. When you continue to seek God from your heart, he's going to reveal himself to you. When you just ask God, who I want to know who exactly you are. It's going to reveal itself to you, man. But I ain't going to get too deep in that right now. We're going to keep going on this video, man. Was Moses able to say, he who has seen me has seen God? When you look at Moses, when you look at Moses, when he came to the Jews, he's even more powerful than Jesus himself. As was Moses able to say, what? he who has seen me has seen God? What I'm saying to you. You see? Just answer the question. I'm coming. What I'm trying to bring down to you today, I want you to come to reality. You see the Bible you read it today. The Bible no, do don't, not, don't switch I'm topics. Coming, I want to say to you. I just want to ask you, did Moses say anywhere, he who has seen me has seen God? No. Did Muhammad say anywhere, he who has seen me has seen God? What I'm saying to you, you need to know, you need to know when Jesus speaks in parable, I can give you a quotation, many quotations where Jesus was calling himself. No, you're giving me a lot of good quotations. Where he was calling himself a son of man. A son but, of, but you're not answering my question. A son of man. A son of can you, all I want to know Sorry? is, is there any Imam, Sheikh, or even you that can say he who has seen you has seen God? You cannot see no one can see God in the Bible. How can no one can see God? So is the answer yes? Is the, is, is the answer yes or no? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Exodus chapter 13, verse 20. No one can ever see God and live again. Okay. So, so has anybody able to say, Sheikh, Imam, or you, he who has seen you has seen God? Yeah, who have seen me have seen God. Can, can you say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who have seen me have seen God? Who have seen me have seen God? Yeah, who have seen okay, so he, he's the first Muslim that I know that who has seen him. Yeah, I see what? God. So you've lived a sinless life? No, 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 no. You've lived sinless? What are you quoting? Am, am I a sinless? What are you quoting from? I'm coming. I'm coming. What are you saying? Have you lived sinless? When you sinless. Say, I'm coming, I'm without coming. sin. I'm coming. I'm coming. Have you sinned? Uh, wait a second. What is he concerned about now? When you have committed a sin. He just said, who has seen? He just said, whoever seen him seen God. And he asked him, did you ever sin? And he's not answering it. That goes to show he's not up here cool bro a lot of people focus on the scriptures and studying the scriptures and having the scriptures on the, the back of your hand stop living in that mindset of tradition i promise you just because it's your tradition it's your family's religion it's this religion that don't mean nothing bro it is not the religion it's the relationship that you have with your creator everybody love god wouldn't you want the true God to reveal himself to you. And I know it's a process. The Bible says in John 3, 36, whoever believes in the son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the son will not see life for God's wrath remains on him. So let's go, let's read it in the King James Version. He that believeth on the son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not, the son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. I'm coming, I'm coming. What I'm saying to you, I just asked a question. I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait a second, wait a second. There is none perfect. Even Jesus even said that in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16 to 17, when they came to him, behold, someone came to Jesus. He addressed him as a good teacher. What good teacher shall I do that on behalf of eternal life? Jesus said, Why do you say I am good? Why do you say I am perfect? There is none good but one. That is God. Only God that is 
never said he had any sin. He never said he has, has had any sin. Sorry? And that verse you quoted miscorrectly. He didn't say there's nobody not perfect or anything like that. He said Jesus, that he's not. He's in no, no, no. He said, he said, he said uh, no one is good but God. Yeah, that's right. One God. One God. One God. Because you were staring at him. That's why. One God. One God. You were staring at him. That's why. There was That's why he in. said that. What is in there? No, no. He said, no one, no one is good but God. Is not, yeah, yeah. But Jesus himself said, no, I am the good no, shepherd. No, no, yeah. I am the Amen. Amen, brother. No one is good but God. God is good. In the Gospel of John chapter 12, verse 44. You're quoting a lot of verses. So I just, so back, no, 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 but, but answer this one quick question first, because you didn't answer. Have you sinned? Have you sinned? Yes or no? That's all I ask. Let me finish. Let me finish. Have you sinned? You, you're coming too long. Have you sinned? When you sin, just, just, just answer the question. Have you sinned? Yes or no? No, no. Everyone sins. I'm not asking for a verse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First, hold on. Right. I have sinned. I have sinned. Okay, just say. Get, get the mic. I'm coming. I, I, I have sinned. And Jesus, Jesus, said, Jesus said, when I've committed a sin, I need to repent. In the gospel of Luke chapter 13, verse 3 and 5. So you sin. Jesus said, if you do not, so you repent, Jesus said, if you do not repent from your sins, sin. you are going to be perished. But Jesus never sinned. Hey. 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 Jesus never sin. That's why he's the son of God. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. That's the difference. That's the difference. What is it that gives you assurance that you're going to heaven? That's all I want to know. Because of what Jesus said, I should keep. And the what did He say? He said I should keep the commandment. That's where my suspect sits. Commandment of God. Have you perfectly kept the commandments? That's what I've been doing. Okay, so you have sinned. Yeah. I can't say I haven't sinned. Jesus said, "When I commit a sin, I should repent." Okay. So here's what I'm telling you: You have a different concept of the holiness of God. The Bible says, "All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God." And the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So, regardless of your repentance, if you don't have the blood to wash away your sins, you're not going to be in heaven. Amen, bro. Amen, bro. That's the gospel right there in the soul. It don't matter what religion you in. The blood of Jesus Christ it is what is forgiving you for your sins. Ever since you was born out of the womb, you have had sin on your body. Jesus was the only one who never sinned because he is God in the flesh. I just get hyped sometimes, bro. Like, as soon as I hear that gospel, man, it'd be like amazing to me. Please get out of the mindset of a religion, out of tradition, out of thinking this is all, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do because my family is doing it. Come on, man. I'm sad that you had to grow up in that situation. But Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man is coming to the Father but by the name of Jesus. You need his blood that was shed on that cross for our sins to wash your sins so that you could be forgiven and get into the kingdom of heaven. Believe that Jesus is God. Because now you're an unbeliever. But hey man, I thank you for watching this whole video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button. If you like the video, if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn your post notifications on. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this video. Oh yeah, this is another informational video for you to get you right with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Click this video right now. Hey, but with all that being said, in Jesus' name, amen.